It's my intense pleasure to welcome you all to the live interview aligned with the International Conference for Quality Education 2024. We'll be holding the conference in January 20th to 24th in Mumbai, India, where we will have the great opportunity to meet the global leaders, personalities, inspirations from the field of education. The main objective of the conference is to focus on the empowering the 21st century skills and the spiritual well-being in children by enhancing the quality of education, STEAM education, employability, entrepreneurship, greening education, and mindfulness. In parallel to the conference, we'll be conducting live interview series with experts from the field. It's me, Shevar Suher, Head of Early Childhood Department and Senior Lecturer from Amazon College, Bamlapitiya, Colombo, Sri Lanka. The host today for this splendid talk show on behalf of International Association of Quality Education. So my dear audience, before we start our interview session, let me warmly invite our president of the International Association of Quality Education, Mr. Janaka Kamal Goda to do the honors to start this session. Sir, over to you with pleasure. Thank you, Suari. It is very pleasure to speak few words before the before this in the live interview you know that uh, we are going to conduct international conference on quality education in mumbai from january 20th uh, till 24th in 2024 parallel to the, our international conference we are conducting live interview series related to the quality education today interviews are very special because we are uh, speaking about the stream education we have a good expert uh, to discuss about the stream education uh, sachitra ma'am she is an expert she uh, she has a lot of experience she has a lot of best practices to share with us about the stream education i think uh, this uh, through this uh, interview we can get a lot of ideas a lot of best practices from the nepa and i wish all the best to uh, our swari and uh, Sister Ma'am, all the best for your interview. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, sir. So the most awaited time has arrived and it is a privilege and great honor to welcome this beautiful and prestigious personality on board to join with us on this live interview series. Madam Sachita Sawar, who has been working as an ECD educator and a consultant in different public schools of Nepal, is a teacher trainer in ECD, born and raised in Nepal. She has dedicated over two decades of teaching students of schools and colleges. Holding an MPhil degree in educational leadership, MED in STEAM education, she is pursuing her PhD degree in educational leadership at Kathmandu University, She's a qualified teacher, educator, and researcher. She holds a certification in school counseling qualification to help students grow and develop and connect with them in their present and future careers. Ma'am, your educational background services are mesmerizing, and I feel so proud to be your talk show host today and eager to grab your knowledge. A very warm welcome to you, ma'am. Good afternoon, and we would like to hear some few words from you before we start the interview session. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, a very good namaste from Nepal. I'm Sachita Swal, as uh, Ma'am uh, Ma Suher has said just now. I would like to thank uh, Suher Ma'am and Janaka Sir, and of course, the International Association for Quality Education, because for giving me this opportunity to uh, give a live interview. And I am privileged uh, to be here uh, and to share my knowledge and experience on STEAM education. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ma'am. So the topic today for discussion is on a new approach named STEAM. The word itself gives us a sense of power and motivation. And the best part is we'll all be learning about this STEAM approach from the expert itself. As far as I know about STEAM approach, the STEAM stands for science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics if I'm not wrong. And these are the access points for guiding students, inquiry, dialogue, and critical thinking. 
So ma'am, do you think STEAM education in the 21st century explores strategies to equip students with knowledge and skills to become successful innovators? Uh, thank you, Shreer ma'am. Yes, of course. Uh... It does, because in this ever-changing world, you know, like it is very important for our nation's youth uh, to be prepared to use their knowledge and skills to solve problems and use the correct information and know how to gather and evaluate evidence to make decisions and enhancing such skills lies within STEAM education. Because it plays a very important role, as we all know, uh, you know, like uh, to develop solutions uh, in the societal uh, society, because uh, there are so many problems that we can see. Recently, we had COVID-19 and we still have dengue, you know, and then some public health uh, crisis. Uh, so crisis we are facing now. And STEAM not only teach students how to think critically, uh, but it also helps uh, with problem solving and prepare students to work in different fields for their growth. So if STEAM is incorporated in curriculum, it will help students for life, regardless of their profession. It will help students to think critically and help to develop skills that can be used throughout life during their tough times. And even they can take advantage of uh, opportunities uh, anytime. So therefore STEAM will uh, teach them how to learn, how to ask questions, how to experiment and, uh, and to create what they want to as innovators and for the future you know like these kind of, these uh, students can be in innovators and can bring out new things new technologies so that the the steam uh, in education can help students think very critically and then solve the problems as it comes thank you so much ma'am that really uh, cleared the doubt uh, so coming to uh, inclusive education, uh, inclusive education refers to all students uh, being able to access and gain equal opportunities to education and learning. How has team contributed to inclusive education? If you could just, I mean, share your knowledge on that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, uh, of course. Uh, as I as I mentioned, you know, like a STEAM, we can say that STEAM uh, uh, based education as a foundation of integration of uh, different uh, skills and uh, and uh, the disciplines uh, so that students receive rich educational experience. And as a teacher, you know, like I am also teaching uh, now uh, with the small children, you know, to the small children, as well as the uh, uh, students of uh, the college and university. Mm -hmm. And as a teacher, and I can benefit from deeper understanding of the fundamentals of STEAM uh, education. So STEAM education will boost the interest of and help all the students develop love of arts and sciences from very early age. Since I work in ECD also, I can see that these small children are, you know, like drawn towards different kinds of uh, disciplines uh, of their learning. So all the five disciplines of, uh, you know, studies involve creative processes and instead of using one method of inquiry and investigation. So that is why it is not only for their future, but for the future of the country also. And uh, in the still it uh, seems like a far off goal, um, for girls, kids with children with special needs and children from underrepresented groups to be included in STEAM. Uh, in order to create an um, inclusive STEAM um, curricular framework, you know, like uh, it is very important that uh, we, uh, we have a STEAM model where we should have STEAM model where every student has the opportunity to develop. And um, uh, a significant amount of work has been started in the field of STEAM uh, curricular framework to reach uh, learners uh, from underrepresented uh, uh, sections like girls and special education needs children. So through inclusiveness, it, uh, you know, it can utilize uh, interests and strengths of the students. Uh, therefore, we have to make uh, the most of their advantages to boost their confidence and uh, enthusiasm uh, for studying. So children with um, uh, particular disabilities who, who might want assistance with social skills will find these attributes extremely helpful. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Uh, so ma'am, uh, before STEAM came into existence, uh, there was mm -hmm. something called STEM which yes. excluded the arts. Mm -hmm. So was it necessary for STEM to become STEAM? 
and why is that a in steam is so important in education yeah. yes thank you uh, yes of course uh, you know like when uh, while i was a student of steam you know like when i was doing my ma in steam it was uh, very challenging for us to understand the a you know the, the a component i still remember uh, you know like uh, uh, an engineer who uh, george yakman uh, who was an engineer and technology teacher who and also the founding researcher of steam educational framework in 2006 so he was the uh, the credit goes to him because he was the innovator uh, who updated stem into steam adding a to it mm-hmm. and um, as yakman says uh, says that you know steam is about more than uh, converging the fine arts and design thinking into stem fields so so the liberal arts are the who and why whereas the reasoning is what and how of stem so and i also remember someone saying that it is symbiosis between uh, the arts and sciences mm-hmm. and the a that is added to stem you know like it fosters the um a uh, true innovation uh, that comes with uh, combining the mind of an artist or designer to a, a mind of a scientist or technologist so i believe that the addition of a in stem uh, to create steam is important to make it more lively uh, explaining and engaging math and science education so the arts that we have in steam brings out you know like it bring out um, uh, creative thinking among the students emphasizing their um, uh, their ways to solve problems so that even if they are engineers they can create a wonderful design for stunning building and structures mm-hmm. for the future and we can all see in different in, in different countries uh, where all these engineers uh, and all these technologists can you know like uh, you know like in, in a lovely way in a very creative way in a very innovative way and then these designs are really really appreciating to eyes you know like where we can see them yes thank you so thank you ma'am for this clarification so i realize now the importance of a in that steam has really redefined the word steam right so i personally feel a steam approach will have a good future in the 21st century and will be the talk of the town please ma'am if you could explain the diversity in steam and what kind of future do you see of steam education uh yes ma'am because we talk mostly about 21st century skills and where we should have uh knowledge and skills about uh, in like a uh, uh, uh steam and then we all know that the steam what steam stands for and why art uh, arts was introduced in or added in uh, stem okay. so in this 10 21st century you know the, the world is progressing so much in every field it's not only one uh, in one field and there are so many ways you know like different fields that we have uh, you can see that progressing so education is a field where we can see many growths and development and in this century steam education has a high demand and it engages students in their education so we can have lots of project based you know like steam uh, steam project based learning for the students and we need to prepare our youths in this ever changing world and equip them we should be able to equip them with uh, you know knowledge and skills to solve problems immediate problems and you know, like they can do it and they should also know how to collect and assess information and uh, you know like uh, data to make decisions so we are living in a very modern world and we have to think very in, in a modern way and we have to solve problems in a modern way and for that we require modern solutions so we need to enhance the skills of students through steam education and there are many uh, benefits of steam education uh, as well because uh, it is necessary for you know like uh, integrate their learning and steam in steam education and steam education that benefits students in many ways mm-hmm. uh, so it benefits the students with different skills like uh, like a technology literacy uh, competence with the cultural differences there are many things that uh, you know like it is uh, required and the world has become very competitive where each and every student need to uh, you know like uh, be very competitive and then enter the uh, enter the education field and then enter the job market where they can compete with others and uh, you know like show their talent and then uh, solve their problems and think critically so that 
in near future, you know, like they can have a, a very bright uh, and very uh, successful future. So indeed, ma'am, team really has a good future. Uh, coming to arts, uh, I feel arts is a very important subject for children. And especially for yes. girls, it can develop their personality and strengthen their future. Ma'am, what is your opinion on arts and how it can help girls in their education? Yeah, arts is, um, you know, like, um, I would like to share something because, because I am uh, not a student of arts, but, you know, like, I always wanted, uh, you know, like, arts to be included in education. And I think arts bring uh, diversity. Uh, if we can engage in students in arts, you know, like in arts education, and its inclusion in the classroom can help students a lot, they can improve their skills and um, their concentration and their ability to remain focused and uh, lead to positive behavior as well, because it also has very positive long term effects and which leads to a uh, you know, low rate of dropping out from school, for the, especially for the girls. So, and a higher rate of engagement in higher education. Mm -hmm. So similarly, you know, like um, there's also mental and emotional benefits uh, to be reaped from arts education uh, with greater confidence. They can, you know, like they have lots of confidence in that, whatever they are doing and can participate in group discussions and collaborative projects. So. Uh, ultimately, this will bring out their cognitive and social and emotional development. And if arts can be included in their education, I think girls can express themselves in creative ways and it can work as a therapy for everyone, not only for the girls, but for others also, you know, like it can work as therapy. So art, arts can be, you know, like uh, included in, in every, it is included in every part of our lives, but in ed if we can have arts in education, I think that can help the girls and benefit a lot and they can, you know, like have a sound uh, very, I would say not sound, but academically they can be very good in future. That's, yes. that's right, ma'am, because uh, me coming from a medical background, what I chose mm -hmm. was the art subject, and it really helped me to mold my future. So that's yes. uh, really good. That's yeah. Uh, so, ma'am, a STEAM approach has been already implemented in more than 18 countries, according to a research. Certain countries mm -hmm. like uh, Sri Lanka and few more discussions are going on very soon, and it will be uh, implemented. Uh, Nepal has already implemented and are doing wonders. So what are some of the initiatives uh, taken by the Nepal government for uh, STEAM education? Yes, um, uh, when I, I, I just wanted, I just remember, you know, when I was doing my uh, MED in STEAM, you know, like uh, it, it, we all had experienced in like um, uh, incorporating steam in our daily lives and especially the arts but we never realized that you know like we are having arts in our daily life mm -hmm. and the steam education has now gained its popularity you know, like after i think it's after three years that i, I had done my ma in steam so mm -hmm. it has gained popularity and people are now nowadays people are people know more about steam mm -hmm. and as an education movement at different parts of the world you know like uh, and that is uh, originated from STEM initiative and recent addition of arts A, as we as I mentioned earlier. So it is just not uh, it is not just an acronym, but it is a kind of uh, you know like I would say transformative uh, mm -hmm. curricular uh, and pedagogical approach. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Nepal is in the process of transforming school education and by reforming curricula in you know, order textbooks and education policy in the country uh, for more than integrated education at the basic level and transdisciplinary relations uh, relations at the higher level. So the curriculum framework or individual disciplinary curricula do not mention STEM or STEAM, but the intent of such a paradigm shift has been reflected on uh, documents according to the Curriculum Development Center 2007. Mm -hmm. So the government has introduced uh, the integrated curriculum and textbooks for grade one to three in phase one. So that means from grade one to grade three for phase one and for phase two you know like uh, they have introduced uh, for grade four and five okay. so steam challenge you know like programs or school level um that was held at there was one program i still remember that was held at logan kill it's a small place where i live uh, 
And uh, this program was organized by the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology in collaboration with Robotics Association of Nepal, Nepal Academy of Science and Technology, B Creative, Karkhana, and Nepal Innovation Lab. And this, you know, like this kind of a joint, uh, you know, like collaboration, it brought out uh, so much of, you know, like uh, learning for uh, the, the, the future, you know, like for the students. Uh, and then they can... Uh, there were hundreds of people, you know, like uh, teaming up in schools who participated in challenge program uh, with STEAM related uh, demonstrations and models. Uh, so the collaboration among the government and non-governmental um, institutions opened up a new possibility for promoting STEAM education in Nepal, which aims um, to develop in a kind of creativity, the innovation, the imagination, scientific thinking and problem uh, solving skills. So it is beyond the disciplinary boundary of subject-wise teaching and learning of math, science, and arts. And this kind of program will always benefit the students to think in a different way. Definitely. So the government has started the initiative of uh, uh, incorporating the STEAM education in the country. Country, That's great. So uh, STEAM as a multidisciplinary or integrated approach can definitely benefit students in many ways. And most of yeah. the benefits, we are unaware of it. So how do you yeah. think, ma'am, STEAM as a multidisciplinary or integrated approach can benefit students? Um, the STEAM can, you know, like work as, as we all know that it is, uh, uh, we, even if in the schools, you know, we don't say uh, STEAM, uh, se STEAM separately, we say integrated curriculum. In integrated curriculum, like in, for example, say I can uh, talk about the uh, grade one to three, where the government has uh, introduced the, the uh, integrated curriculum, where we have four, you know, like subject and one core subject, like science, math, and the language subjects. So they can you know like uh, the the teachers can teach uh, the students or you know like uh, up, they can have a project based learning where um, they can have maths and language and uh, you know like science and language integrated at the same time so students are engaged fully mm -hmm. and the students can learn from the projects they are given so they can think very innovatively so that uh, there's you know, the, the, in the in their project they work collaboratively solving mm -hmm. the problems and thinking critically and they can have new projects developed uh, while you know like having steam education in there uh, as a as a pedagogy in the classroom so those are some good benefits students can yeah. get by implementing yes. steam education yes ma'am uh, so thank you ma'am uh, this really proves that the benefits are very supportive and uh, productive uh, then ma'am uh, i would really like to thank you for this wonderful opportunity for sharing our knowledge on steam education approach I uh, really personally felt that within this one hour, I have learned and got a good knowledge and as if I have completed a full course in STEAM education. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank yeah. you, ma'am, for giving us time from your hectic schedule. And definitely, uh, definitely once again, uh, we will approach uh, and conduct some interview sessions and uh, waiting for this uh, approach to be implemented uh, in Sri Lanka. And uh, once it is implemented, I'm sure that there will be uh, drastic changes in the education system. Uh, so ma'am, this is not the end, but it's the beginning and there is more to go. It would be wonderful and enriching if we can conduct more live interview series to deepen our knowledge. And I would like to invite you on behalf of International Association of Quality Education to do so. Let me remind once again about the upcoming conference, which will be held in January uh, 2024, 20th to 24th in Mumbai, India. And we are anticipating your presence to attend the conference. Okay, uh, thank you so much, sir, ma'am. And uh, thank you, Janaka, sir. And the, of course, I again want to thank uh, International Association for Quality Education. And of course, I would like to participate in the conference because I, I was thinking of STEAM, you know, for girls and like why STEAM education for the girls. So if I can participate yes. and um, make a presentation, that would be great, according to my experience. And this was a privilege for me to you know, like share my experience and knowledge. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. So since we are coming to the end of the interview series, I would uh, like to say bye. And it's me, Shevar Suher, head of the Early Childhood Department, a senior lecturer from Amazon College, uh, and on behalf of International Association of Quality Education. Thank you so much, ma'am, once again. Uh, have you. a nice day. Thank you. And namaste. Thank you very much. Thank you.